my dear students i welcome you all to my educational channel the name of my educational channel is priyanka dotto in this educational channel you will find video presentations on english language and literature of school level and college level apart from it you will also find video presentations on competitive examinations now today's assignment is on competitive examinations this obviously is the introductory session for the students who want to appear in competitive examinations and secure a job by the term competitive examinations i am specifically referring to the mains examinations because i think that in the market there are many books for the preliminary examinations and the materials provided in those books are enough for the students of any intellectual level to grasp them and to carry them in their memory to the examination hall now you must be surprised at least some of you to find that i am conducting this video presentation in english some of you might have thought that had my presentation been conducted in bengali it would have been better but i have stuck to english as the medium of presentation because in the written examination as well as in the viva you are supposed to speak in english and write in english not in your local language or any other kind of language now by the term competitive examination i mean that you are appearing at an examination where there are several competitors now the term competitors specifically refers to human beings but according to me your weaknesses are your competitors because you cannot assume how your friends those who are competing for the same post will fare in the examination so if you look upon your weaknesses as your competitors you will be always in a positive frame of mind you will always think that you have got over your weaknesses and you feel that you are capable enough to get the job now before i clarify the things which you need to hope for or secure in order to get a job through a competitive examination i must make it clear to you that in a competitive examination your aim is to secure the qualifying marks a competitive examination is different from an academic examination in an academic examination you prepare the answers beforehand you commit them to memory and if those questions appear in the examination you reproduce 
what is in your memory. But in case of a competitive examination, you are supposed to achieve the qualifying marks. This qualifying marks in most cases is 50% or round about it. So there is no need to think that you have to cram the answers. Go to the examination hall and reproduce your cramped answers because the questions will be set not according to your strength but in accordance with the intellectual levels of the paper setters. After all, a competitive examination is a process of elimination. So, the paper setters will be aware of the fact that the, com the students who are appearing in the examination are supposed to come to the examination hall by cramming the answers of these and these questions. So they will select something which is somewhat unusual. So it will be a test of both your knowledge and your understanding. Now about the process of achieving the qualifying marks. In order to achieve the qualifying marks in a competitive examination, you will have to answer all the questions. You cannot assume that I have written the essay with improved materials and I secure or rather I shall secure 80% marks in it. There is no guarantee that what you think will be reflected in the performance in the answer scripts. So you have to answer all the questions. The second point you must keep focus on is that you must minimize your grammatical mistakes. You should not write long sentences. You should not write high flown words. You should write in a kind of language you are most comfortable with. Now, you must keep in mind that you have to make the best use of the available sources. While I shall discuss about several topics, obviously related to writing skill, you will come to know how to make best use of the available sources. A very important point is that you shall have to be systematic. You must not think that these days IPL is going on, so I shall not miss any match. After the IPL is over, that is after about 45 days, I shall start preparing for the men's examination once again. No, such a thought or such a system of thought will be wrong because unless you are not systematic, sorry, unless you are systematic, you are not supposed to raise your standard of writing and unless you are raise your standard of writing, you are not expected to qualify in a men's examination. So keep working hard, get rid of all material temptations because you must 
keep your goal fixed and not stray from it another point is that you should always be optimistic about qualifying the in the mains examination and securing a job because a pessimistic frame of mind will never help you the mains examinations so far as my knowledge goes are of different types so keep focus on a particular form of examination so that your preparation becomes complete and you can approach the examination in a positive frame of mind now i shall obviously discuss about some elements of or some aspects of writing skill for example phrases essay writing letter writing and all those things now in the comment section of this video presentation as well as of other presentations you must mention about the items on which you want me to discuss and provide materials so thank you see you again in my next video presentation which will be on the topics specifically meant for the students appearing in the competitive examinations so before concluding i would like to tell you that subscribe to my channel share my video presentation comment your opinion and put forward your queries thank you